my name's Steven. Um, this is my uh, 2018 Mazda MX-5. Uh, I got it about, a, about two years ago. Um, just a fun car. Um, I saw it at a car show in uh, 2019. I think it was the LA uh, Auto Show. And um, this was actually my first car. And uh, so I saved up for it. Um, super fun so far. Um, I didn't really plan on doing all this to it, but one thing led to another and now we have uh, my daily car. <laughs> the ND, when I saw it at the car show, um, it obviously wasn't wide body and stuff like that, um, but I really love just the angles of it, like the little, um, like the shape of the hood and the way the lights looked. Uh, it's more aggressive than the older uh, Miatas. Um, I also really love the tail lights. Um, I've always loved the Jaguar F-Type, how I had like those, um, I don't know how to say, but uh, very mean looking tail lights. Um, I always thought the Miata looked um, very similar to that. Um, and so I just had this vision of what I was gonna uh, make it into and, and I was able to accomplish that. We'll start with the whatever's on the interior. So it's basically stock right now. Um, I'm still thinking of what I wanna do to it. Um, I, I use this car every day, so I need it to be very reliable. But um, as of right now, I have um, obviously the Pandem. It's an authentic Pandem kit. Um, it doesn't have the uh, front lip that it usually comes with, but um, I'll probably eventually get that. Um, so Panem kit, um, I got these little uh, colorful bolts. I matched them with the uh, Mishimoto lugs. And then um, I have uh, MST time attack wheels, um, PC coilovers. Um, that's about it. And then I have um, cobalt exhaust. So pretty standard car. Um, Definitely breaks a lot of necks by how wide it is, but yeah, that's about it so far. It's pretty difficult for me to find the right offset as well as the proper width that I want in a wheel as well as the correct lug pattern. So I, I did a lot of searching around and stuff. These are my second um, second wheels, um, but uh, these are 17 by 9s. Um, I believe they're plus 15 offset, so I have to run spacers on this in order to fill out these. Um, I believe the um, additional um, thickness, I guess you could say, from the over fenders is plus 80 millimeters, so it's pretty. It's a pretty big gap um, to fill in, but yeah, as of now, 17 by nines. Um, yeah, they're they're fine. Um, they, uh, I like the look of them. Um, I'm probably gonna get some other wheels in the future that have a lower offset, maybe a negative 10 offset. That's what I'm kind of looking. For the future, um, I do have some um, headers that I want to put in. Um, they're catless headers. Um, I'm still debating on when I want to do that. Um, it's just one of those things where, um, you know, do I want to deal with cops and stuff right now? Um, but I'm eventually going to throw them in. Um, one day when this becomes um, not so driven, more of a project car, so to say, um, I do want to turbo it. Uh, I know they have a bur uh, BBR turbo, I believe, and um, it's actually carb legal, I think, and um, tuned by Delicious Tuning. They have a tune for it, so I'm gonna do that one day. I purchased this, this car um, before COVID, so it was around, I guess it came out to like 27 grand, 28-ish. Um, the body kit it is an authentic body kit. Um, I did put in a special order, so I didn't get the full Pandem kit uh, wing, uh, rear, uh, diffuser and then the front diffuser but for these um, front fenders it was uh, around a thousand and then for the rear is also about a thousand um, the little bolts um, they're pretty good bolts I forgot where I got them from but um, those were about 200 ish um, the wheels they were about s around seven to eight hundred ish um, let me see the lug nuts those were ran me about same brought 200 ish um, so, let me see, with tires and everything, I would say in total with maintenance and everything like that, I would say I've put around maybe six to seven grand into the, into the car um, so far, so. One more.